Y'all what it would do, it's Young Honey. And listen, today while we do this insurgency, I wanna talk about something that's super important to me. And that's celebrity fights that I and my friends wanna see just because we need that. Like, listen, listen. Our society is missing something right now. We are missing something extreme and people, people are getting hurt on the street. People are dying. There have been pandemics. We like, like, like this world is falling the fuck apart. And I, I just think we need to bring back celebrity fighting. I, I think that I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Paul brothers or anything. Like, 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 like I, I just don't get it. I don't, it's not for me, right? But if they bring back celebrity fighting, I'd be pretty happy and I'll tell you why. We're missing out on some fights that would just bring, I think, I think, I think everyone so much joy, just so much joy. Uh, let, let me get right into this list, all right? If, if there are any celebrities alive or dead that you want to see fighting, drop a comment. You know, like, let me know. Because odds are I'm interested in the conversation. You, you feel me? Like, like, this is something I'm passionate about. But just for example, for exa tell me you would not want to see a fight between the following two people. Papa John and Alex Jones. Two out of shape, middle-aged men. Now, I have some conditions for this fight. I do. Because I think that on their own, uh, uh, and listen, someone correct me if I'm wrong. All right, just, just let me know, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that Alex Jones probably takes that fight under normal circumstances, right? I think that I hate to give it to him. I hate to give it to him, but but I think that I think that on the base he's going to win. But let's talk about a situation where it's just a little bit more balanced, okay? So, in this situation, I want a fucking roided out Alex Jones. I want an Alex Jones that is so far gone off the fucking roids that it's unreal. So for that reason, I want him to be allowed to take his own supplements. I, I, I want him to be able to put whatever he wants into his body for that fight. All right, not whatever I want, whatever he decides he wants. You feel me? So that, that, that's the first thing. The second condition that I have for this fight that I think would make it a lot more fair, especially considering the fact that we're getting a roided out Alex Jones. Okay, we're not talking about the usual Alex Jones, which quite frankly, like, I'm not scared of him. I, I, I think that you'd have to be a pretty funny guy to be scared of Alex Jones, but He's he's both stupid and angry. That's not a combination of person you want to you want to fight, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> that's just something to know. So I think that to balance that out, to balance out, you know, just the general Alex Jones thing, because he's got a lot going for him in this fight as it is. Like we we buffed up Alex Jones fucking immediately. I think that Papa John should be allowed to eat 29 pizzas in 30 days, just like he claimed that he had before. I think that I think that his admission to that was saying that that's kind of like his source of power and that he was being deprived of that. I believe that was his complaint against the company. I could be wrong. I didn't follow that affair too closely. He, he's a piece of shit. But I think he should be allowed to consume as much fucking pizza as he wants and it should be made with love because I want him at Full force. I, 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 I don't want to Papa John that hasn't had 29 pizzas in 30 days to eat. I don't think anyone wants to watch that fight. So with these things considered, 
I really, 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 really don't want them to have an environment that's conducive to taking away from the fight in this situation. You know, I, I, I don't want them on some fucking Smash Bros map where everything is moving around a mile a minute. They're changing platforms and shit. I want them on a nice open fucking field with no weapons. I want this to be hand to hand. And the way that I do see this going is I think that Alex Jones absolutely takes this. Uh, I, 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 think, I think you'd be out of your fucking mind to think that he doesn't, especially if he's on the roids. But more importantly, more importantly, I think that after he wins, like immediately after he wins, that exertion, the steroids, and literally the idea of having to pay over a billion dollars in defamation suit money, I think it gives him a heart attack. And that'll likely kill him because he's alone in a field with Papa John, who he just killed, right? So, so he doesn't really have help there. You dig? So I, I don't know who the winner of the fight is. But I know that the winner overall is us, the viewer. And you, you, you can't tell me that, that that wouldn't be fun to watch. You can't tell me that that just wouldn't be a good fucking time. Like, I would get the boys together to watch that. Like, I, 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 I'd pay for it on pay-per-view. Like... I would do whatever I could to make sure that I supported that to watch more of it. As fucked up as that sounds, like, I feel like that's, that's literally what we're missing right now. Like, we're missing ridiculous personalities who everyone just does not like anymore beating the shit out of each other. Don't we deserve that after the years that we have had? Do we not deserve that at this point? Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not asking for the entire world. I, I'm just asking for, for, two, for two men to meet up in a field and to see what happens. Right? But yeah. In any case, let me reset this recording. Reset it. Okay. So... This next fight, this next fight was proposed by my sister. And listen, it's hard, it's hard for me to give her credit. Like, trust me, I, 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 hate, I hate saying, yeah, no, my, my sister really helped me out here. It, it kills me, it literally kills me. Because it, it, it's hard to explain the sibling dynamic, but she, she has to always know that I'm the ultimate. And so, so when I, when, when I say that this was literally one of the best, like, celebrity fight ideas that I've ever seen in my entire life, and that I was so jealous that I didn't come up with it, I almost took the idea myself and, like, swallowed my phone to hide the text messages. Like, I really mean it, but... I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna give my sister some credit. And this fight is none other than Guy Fieri against Gordon Ramsay. The most aggressive chef to ever grace this earth against the, not, not the mayor, the fucking king of Flavortown. You know, we're not talking we're, we're not talking some fucking plebeian here. We're talking about the king of flavor, Guy Fieri. And so, well, I get it. You know, Gordon Ramsay, like he's he's in pretty decent shape, right? Like like he had some years where he wasn't in great shape, but he's always been in better shape than I've been in in my entire life, so like really not my place to say there. You know, against Guy Fieri, who admittedly he's he's not in the best he's not in the best shape, right? I still want to see it. I still want to see it, and I'll tell you the factors I want to see it under 
because I think that really, that's what makes this the most interesting fun. I think all of these are interesting for a lot of different reasons. I think that, I think that we've included some super fun factors to like really, really make this shit weird, make it fun. But, but here's why I think this is one of the better matchups I've heard. I want this, unlike the last one, that occurs in an open field, right? I want this one to be inside of their place of work. I want this one in the kitchen. I want this one in the kitchen, and I want Gordon Ramsay to start off with a fucking uh, butcher knife. Butcher cleaver, if you will. Like, like, I want him absolutely stacked, and I want Gordon Ramsay just, or not Gordon Ramsay, I want Guy Fieri to just be carrying a single deep fryer skillet, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you fucking why. Okay? I think in that situation, if they fight, either Gordon Ramsay ends up killing Guy Fieri, and we, we all have the most unfortunate, like, tributes to pay. Or, Guy Fieri is able to use that skillet to disarm Gordon Ramsay. I, 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 I don't think that in physical competition, you get a whole lot between, between those two. And, and that's not about their sizes or really anything like that. I just, I, I, they're chefs. Do they really know how to fight? Like, like come on, we, we, we'd be asking a lot. But if you give them the tools that they use every single day and you tell them just to go burn, not only do I think that we see something super, super, super fucking entertaining, I think that, I think that Guy Fieri shocks the world. I think that he does the unthinkable and he takes out Gordon Ramsay. You know, like... Ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez, ah, oh, jeez. We're too far in on this. Like, I think he's able to take Gordon Ramsay. I really do. I don't think it's a question. I really don't. I think, I, I literally think that they would literally just go at it until one is either dead or Gordon is disarmed and he has to admit who the better chef is after all these years. Because, like, let's be real, let's be real, let's be real. Gordon Ramsay's probably a phenomenal chef. He's probably a phenomenal fighter, too, but... Can his capability really compare to Guy Fieri in any way? That's what I'm trying to find out. That's what I want to see. That's, that's the purpose of why I want these fights to happen, you understand. You know? That's why I'm saying we're being deprived. Because we could have shit like this. I can guarantee there is a price tag that these people will do it for. And, and, and all we would really have to do is just go, how much is it, realistically? How much would it take for you to fight him? I, I think that's what it would take. And I'm not the guy with that kind of money to do that. I'm not. Like, no way in hell. But if someone did want to put that together, charge money for people to watch it, they would make so much bread. It blows my mind that we aren't doing this right now. It would be like wacky races, but even better. Like, like, I don't have them on my list, but you're telling me you wouldn't want to see Elon Musk and Donald Trump fight? Or Elon Musk and Kanye West just take each other out? You're telling me you wouldn't want to see billionaire fights? Like, come on. Come on, man. Be real with yourself. <coughs> it's just... It's what we need. I'm gonna reset the recording real quick. Reset. Hey, yo, what it do? It's Young Honey again. We're taking a quick time out from the actual video of, you know, 
that insurgency because I left one vital fight off the list. Okay? Just 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 chew on this. Okay? This was brought this this was brought to my attention by a uh, Guerrilla main. And because I forgot it and I feel badly and I absolutely fucking love this dude. He makes some great music. I'm gonna pitch his ideas. Zero alterations because I love this idea. And I'm gonna be playing some of his music that he's dropped on the Raw Dog page. Dog, I love you. Huge shout out. Please enjoy his music. We're just uh, gonna take this outpost while we do it. But uh, before I share the music, my guy, I texted him going, what celebrity fight would you want to see? And he said, has Bola versus Jake Paul. If that ain't the most perfect fight. I'm taking the kidneys, I'm fucking your bitch. Now anyway, Fuck you, you're about me, though, what 
But yeah, so really quick before I go into the next fight, I am taking a break from playing a ton of video games. I'm going to try to keep up with the weekly insurgencies, things like that. Um, I do have Fallout DLC videos scheduled. Excuse me. I got Fallout DLC. Far Cry DLC video scheduled throughout. A, like through, throughout a very long time period, okay. You know, um, I think they go through June, but I wanna I wanna try to do some other things. I uh I do love doing gaming. I do love doing the let's plays. I got a Far Cry Three let's play coming out next year. Like, I do love doing that. But at the same time, it was getting to be detrimental with my own schedule and I was playing video games too much and I wasn't even fucking recording it. I think I logged like 58 hours in a Fallout New Vegas the last three weeks, you know? That's, uh, that's not healthy. So I deleted every single game off my Xbox except for Far Cry 6, Goat Simulator, Soda Drink, uh, I, I didn't even keep Goat Simulator, fuck. So right now I got Far Cry 6, Soda Drinker Pro, <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies, and The Stick of Truth. You know, like, I really cleared everything, and instead of, like, using that time that I was to play video games, dang all started playing the guitar. Um, and so, there aren't gonna be as constant, as constant gaming videos. I hope that that means that the posting will be a little bit less overwhelming, just because Sometimes I, I I check how much like shit posts during a day. I see I see we get three videos up in a day, like just accidentally, like between like uh maybe one of these type of videos, a beat, and then a let's play video or a combination of those. You know, like there is gunpowder here. I'm gonna go get that. Um, you know, like, I, I, I don't want anything to be, like, super overwhelming for me or for the audience. So I think it'd be best to, like, take a little bit of a break on that um, and focus on bringing other kinds of content. Uh, and so, yeah, I just, before we get into the next fights, I just want to say direction of the page is going to... I'm, I'm going to try to have it focus back on music a little bit more. I want to get, like, a little... I want to maintain having a good variety of content on here just because that's super important to me. I think that that really helps keep everything more entertaining and fun, and it also helps me branch out and keep this fun for me. So, here, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an exploration time to start the year next year. But I think, I think, I think it's going to be for the best for the page and for everyone. All right. If you're not hit, just get rid of all of those. Pro tip. All right. Next thing before we continue is, uh, oh, damn. I already flipped my page over. One second. Yeah, I already hit all those points. Okay, we can go into this next fight. So, for the next few fights, I uh, I reached out to some friends to see what kinds of celebrity fights they would want to watch, because I know what I want to see, and we'll get we'll we'll get back into those in a bit. But these are some of the celebrity fights Sam wants to see, and I think that they're pretty fucking solid. Because I don't, one, I don't know how a lot of them would go. First of all, I, uh, I, I got my guesses. Like, I have my guesses and I think I know how they may end up. But he chose some great fucking matchups. Some real good matchups. 
First one that he did was apparently the absolute fucking queen of divorce proceedings, Kim Kardashian against Megan Thee Stallion. On the surface, that's just a good fucking fight. That's just a good fight. You know? Like, I'm interested in that. I'll watch that any day. Like, are you kidding me? But here's where it gets mad interesting. Here's where, in my opinion, Sam took the idea and did something that I've heard of corporate places. We're not talking, we're not talking, we're not talking like raw dog. We're talking corporate places, right? Have used the term elevating before, <laughs> you know? Elevating the quality of an idea. Now, Sam just knocked it out of the park there. Like no fucking doubt. So listen, here here's what I have. Here are some of the conditions that I would add on to the to it. Not like literally not even to say that this was not a perfect idea in the first place because Sam, my guy, chef kiss. But I want to make things extra interesting. So I want Kim Kardashian to be able to call in 30 seconds of Chris Kardashian's help. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the Kardashians. It's actually something I'm proud of. I've worked very hard to be in a position to say that. But I also know that Chris Kardashian is not someone you wanna, you wanna really fuck with. And so, if Kim Kardashian in this situation, is going up against, say, Megan Thee Stallion. I wanna give, I, I think I can just, whoop. Oh shit. We did this outpost last week. Um, what's it called? I think it would only be fair if Megan Thee Stallion could call in Cardi B for 30 seconds of help. And, Here's what I think happens there before before we address like how the fight how the main fight goes how how the upper card goes how the main card goes before we address that here's what I think happens Kim Kardashian is without a doubt going to call Chris Kardashian in for help I would too that's just that's just fucking logic okay that's that's a good good thing to do immediately if she's smart Cardi B is calling in Megan Thee Stallion's help to counteract that. And once she does, once she does, I believe that the two individuals will clash in such a way that a vacuum in space and time will form. This will eliminate both Chris and Cardi B from contention. All right. So I wanted to add those factors, not, not to sway the fight, just so we have the benefit of watching that fight happen during the main thing. Like, I, I'm kind of curious about how that goes. I, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, I want this fight, I want this fight to be taking place. Mm. Right. I want this fight taking place on the set of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but I want it cleared. I don't, I don't want Kim to have any unfair advantages. I just want to make sure that we have a lot of phenomenal camera angles for this. Let me reset my recording. Reset. But yeah. Like, I want to make sure that we have a lot of angles for that. Because, I mean, come on. Come on! Why, why, why would we put that together and not do that? that? That would just be fucking silly. So, I do think that ultimately, Megan Thee Stallion wins this fight. I don't think it's close. I don't think it's very close. I think that having Chris is... A massive help. But I think given the fact that Chris and uh, Cardi B would kind of 
tear the fabric of time and space apart, I gotta give it to Megan Thee Stallion. You know, um, that's not even a question. The next one that Sam proposed was, yo, this one was great. <laughs> this fight is like, this fight is like actually great. And like, it, it's low key feasible. Like, like I, I don't see it happening, but I, I could see them doing it once they're both old, just, just for shits and giggles, you know? I hate the snipers in this game. But Sam suggested two gentlemen, one named Action Bronson, whom I happen to love, the other one being Fat Joe. Listen, in this fight, I recognize that they're both from Brooklyn, but you can only give these people certain advantages. You can only give each person certain advantages when you're constructing these hypothetical scenarios. So like, I, I did my best. I did my best here to allocate resources as, as possible. I'm giving Fat Joe the Tims. I know they're both from, I know that they're both from Brooklyn. I'm giving Fat Joe access to Timberlands while I am not giving that access to Action Bronson. I believe this to be the case because that just wouldn't be fair. That would not be fair to Fat Joe. You, you put Action Bronson in his Timberlands. Oh my God. Dude, it's almost like a hate crime against Fat Joe, you know? So, what well, I want to give Action Bronson, and I'll justify this decision by the end of this, trust me. What I really would like to give Action Bronson is a fully stocked kitchen and access to his chef equipment. You know, I don't, I, I think that that's something very reasonable to give him just because you get a good assortment of weapons in there. Like he, he's not in a position where he, he's totally defenseless and he's in his element. Action Bronson fucking loves cooking. You know, like, like he got that TV show, Fuck That's Delicious, right? So I definitely want to be respectful of that, first of all. But second of all, second of all, I think that this street should happen in the mean streets of Brooklyn. I simply think that's the best place for this to occur. I, I don't see it happening anywhere else. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's like a food truck for Action Bronson, Bronson. You know, that's where he has his, all of his things. But I think that Action Bronson beats the living fuck out of Fat Joe, but refuses to kill him. You know what he does instead? Cause he's Action Bronson and he's a stand up guy. He cooks Fat Joe a whole meal. He, I, I don't see Action Bronson taking a man's life in cold blood like that. I don't. I just, I simply do not see it. I think that he cooks Fat Joe a full meal to help him recuperate and I think that this fight ends with Fat Joe looking at Action Bronson and saying, fuck, that's delicious. So like, I do think that's kind of how that fella goes. And I think that's the best. I think that's probably the best case scenario. Now, geez, I just kicked that stand real hard. Now, I, I, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take out this thing, this old thing, really quick before I explain the last fight and we get going on closing out the video and all of that. This was a relatively short one. They didn't give us a whole lot to do, but Far Cry 6 did install a massive update recently. They added new game plus, which I absolutely love to see. <laughs> That was one of my favorite features in the other in some of the other Far Cry games. I like I, I think it's great to see that. And they announced a new DLC, which 
Let's fucking go. So, <coughs> damn, bro. I don't know what it is. I uh, I came back to uh, Tallahassee after visiting my parents uh, for and like getting me like medical treatments and shit, and I immediately got COVID, and then right after that I got strep or some kind of uh, sinus infection. And I'm straight up not having a good time, my dudes, because it's also finals week. Like, like I got finals this week, like when I'm recording this and the week that this drops, which is next week. So I'm not a happy camper about that. And honestly, I'm low key delusional, like just from studying. And that's, that's why I've been spending an extensive amount of time thinking about celebrity fights. Um, so I mean, like, there is that. But yeah, Loki, I'm super excited to see what the DLC here is going to bring to us. Just because I really think that what they've already added is just incredible. I, I, I really like the Voss Pagan Joseph C. Roguelikes. Reset. I really love those roguelikes, and I loved the other DLCs that they did, like in previous games. So I am super excited to see what they do there. I think it's, uh, from what I could tell, it does involve Danny from Far Cry 6, whether it be Danny or Danny, you know? Like, I believe it's tied into the main game. I think it's related. I, I could be wrong. Could be related to a Stranger Things. It had similar art to the Stranger Things mission. Um, it had a similar, like the trailer kind of had a similar, I, I didn't really watch like the full trailer, so did Bill. I just kind of looked at the artwork like, ooh, pretty. Um, like, it, it, it just kind of gave me that vibe overall. Like, it gave me that Stranger Things type vibe that they went for earlier. I don't know if it's gonna be directly affiliated with Stranger Things and I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't got a whole lot of details about that. What you think this is, a gaming channel? Um, but I do know that I'm super hyped to check it out once I, uh, once I'm kind of back to playing video games in a normal capacity, because again, I'm not gonna lie. I played so much fucking Fallout. So much Fallout. And I, I need a break. <laughs> I'm having a really good time playing the guitar and learning little soggy songs there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the last fight that we gonna talk about. And this is just the uh, this is just the last one that was kind of suggested. Um, I happen to think that this would be a pretty fun fight to watch. Uh, so just get right into it. The 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 two individuals I want to see fight here. This was suggested by my friend Maya. All right, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Versus Andrew Tate. Now, this one interested me. Because Dwayne The Rock Johnson is an absolute monster when it comes to his physical condition. Like, there is no doubt that he is one of the most in shape individuals out there, whether he's on the roids or not, you know? Like, like whether or not he's on roids or whatever, the, dude, the dude's imposing, right? So, I think that that in itself is kind of gonna, kind of just automatically makes the fight interesting. Like, right off the bat. 
But more than that, more than that, as much as I don't like Andrew Tate as a person, he was a fighter. And there's that age old question about how effective is bodybuilding against fighting? Like how effective can that actually be? And so when my friend Maya suggested this, I'm like, I want to think this one through. I, this, like, this was a great suggestion. Like, big shout, Maya. Thank you. Um, Jesus. I'm so fucked. Just fucked times a billion. I also thought I dealt with that dude. Okay. Here are the conditions. There are no rules. There literally are no rules. All right, there are no buffs. Neither of these gentlemen needs it, okay? We're talking Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Does he really need more going for it? He's a fucking superhero now. Does he really need all that more strength and power? And we're talking about Andrew Tate, who quite frankly just doesn't really deserve extra things. But this must occur in any place where law and where the legal age of consent is low enough that Andrew Tate can go there and not immediately be arrested. And the reason why I say that is because if you go and look at why he lives where he lives, it's because he's ducking sexual assault against the minor charges. So wherever it occurs, right? Wherever this fight occurs, it has to be in a country that allows that. Now, now, I say that because I don't want him to get arrested before the fight, because frankly, I don't think that this is a fight. I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson tears him in half. I think that no matter what amount of technique you put in against The Rock in a 1v1 situation, unless you are a slithery snick, you're not getting him tangled up like that. You're not taking him out like that. He is going to lift you up and he will fucking break you over his knee and split you in half like you are Batman and he is Bane. Okay? You are not surviving that fucking encounter. All right? So, to touch on the fact that I would want to do this in a country where, you know, I wouldn't want, what's his name, Andrew Tate to be arrested right away. I would want him to be arrested after the fight. So we get our fight, we watch him confidently walk up to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, talk his shit, get broken in half, and then we have him arrested for violating age of consent laws in another nation. Because that's, what the fuck? How is this man a role model to literally any fucking person? So, uh, yeah. Those are those are some of the celebrity fights that I personally really, really, really want to see. Some of my friends came through with some huge, huge, huge contributions to help, like, picking that list up a little bit. Big thanks to y'all. And, yeah, I'm about to go buy all this stuff from Love the Shop. But, you know, there ain't no pressure to stick around. But yeah, I, I just, let me know what you think about those fights. Let me know if there are celebrity fights that you want to watch. I, I know I'm not alone in wanting to see these things. Like, it's a weird niche, sure, but I, I know I'm not alone in wanting to see those things. So if you got suggestions, let me know. Let me know how you think they would go. Let me know how you think the fights that we talked about would go. I, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I, uh, I'm about to go buy everything from Lowe's shop. I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't during the last session. Um, That made me the much sad. But I think we're going to be good here.
I think I, I don't think we had a whole lot to purchase and I think that this will close the video out nicely and if it doesn't I'm just not gonna sleep tonight <laughs> all right that's the most important thing oh come on there we go let's go we caught everything I'll see y'all next week. Please like, subscribe, whatever. I love you.